Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. You can see this fantastic RXTX right behind me, 300. Uh, we are about to start working on several things. Um, there are four skis we're working on today. We are going to clean, prep, polish, and ceramic coat all four of them. So we are in Tampa today working on these sea -Dews. Let me show them to you. See all that transfer needs to be removed. We are removing some decals. The owner's switching up the colors on one of them. So we're removing some decals. We're gonna be polishing up all of this. I just removed the pools of water from the footwells. So they're not, it's not clean yet. I just, all I did literally was just remove the pools of water. Um, so you can see they're really dirty. Uh, looks like they get used, which is good. So I'm gonna pull the saddles off, get all the jams cleaned out uh, for the storage compartment up here. Um, so that is first order of business, is getting all that straight. Um, gonna get the IBR system and everything all cleaned up in the back here. I got some just muck on it. Uh, and then uh, with the forklift and the sling, we're gonna be able to lift this thing up out, off the ground and uh, do the belly of the ski. So that's one. And then we've got these three over here. Um, the red one in front of me, we are removing the decals. So I removed that already. We gotta get the uh, adhesive off. We're gonna remove those 300 decals. Uh, he's changing up the colors. We're gonna take off the sea dew on the side, both sides, this sticker. So that's where we're at, and I'm gonna cut him all new letters. So I gotta remember that one, and then these are getting new letters too. So there's a GTX Limited 300, RXTX, uh, they carry extra gas cans, so they've got the expansion plates. He's got them unmounted so that I can get to them, but that's where we're at. So those four skis are what we're working on today, and uh, I will be shooting video, but we are going to have to uh, kind of crunch to get them all done and not have to come back. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to get this thing scrubbed down while, while Tony works on removing the adhesive and stuff. And then she will jump back on this as soon as she's done with that. So I'll bring you back when I've got everything cleaned up, probably polished right before I ceramic coat this thing. All right, so we just finished up this GTX. This is a 19 GTX 300 Limited. Great ski. Uh, this one's a little beat up. Uh, well, it's all detailed now, but it looks awesome. It's all ceramic coated and all of the things, but it definitely had a bunch of blemishes on it. Um, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I was going to make this uh, video for every ski. I just don't have time, unfortunately. So that GTX 300 Limited is done. This is the RXTX we started with, and that thing is done and looks absolutely amazing. Uh, you'll probably remember all that transfer that was in the footwells. That's all gone. Uh, we're working on that red one that's in there now. Got to get that one straight. But this thing looks awesome. This footwell was really bad, but I got that all straight. Um, I used uh, Elite Master Coat Light on the belly. That's generally what I would do. Uh, and then I use Elite Master Coat on the top, everything, all the plastics, the seat, the uh, dash, the mirrors, everything, uh, all your trim, all this stuff. Got Elite Master Coat Pro. Um, I do that because the surface tension is quite higher on Elite Master Coat than, uh, Pro than it is the EMC Lite, which is my three year coating. Um, so we just want to make sure that uh, the skis still handle properly. And we've noticed that uh, 
you get more control when the belly is uh, basically coated with Elite Master Coat Light, and I put the Pro up on top where everything gets all of the brunt of the weather and the elements and the rain and the wind and all of that. So uh, that's kind of how I do the skis because it just works better. Uh, and the major difference between the Pro and the light versions of Elite Master Coat are going to be the uh, UVA and UVB resistance. With Pro, it is considerably better, and which you know that's why we want it where on the top where. Uh, the sun and that kind of thing is going to hit it more often and the trim and all of that stuff So anyway two down two to go. We'll bring you back whenever we've got more done All right guys long day. They're all done Let me show you how amazing these skis look I got all up in the jet drive area. Sorry. You can't really see it There's not a lot of light in this warehouse and it's pouring down rain outside of course um, Footwells look beautiful lots of gloss uh, we removed most of the decals from these skis this one was pretty good I cut this one off uh, because it was just flipping around but it still looked okay footwells looking great um, we did use the uh, marine plastic and rubber hydrate on all of the plastics the uh, wet sounds and that kind of thing Man, these things look great now. This one removed all the decals from it. And then, like I mentioned, he's putting all those parts on this thing. So we didn't do anything with these red parts because he's just taking them off and putting the uh, gray ones on. And uh, I did what I could. Whatever this is, is probably dye that's actually transferred into... Uh, this foam piece, I, I just I tried to brush all kinds of things. I noticed how this is all dull. We did not polish these this piece or this piece on either side because, like I said, we did polish the new ones he's putting on and coated them. So, And then this one is the one we just finished up. Last one, we pulled a bunch of decals off this one as well. Uh, we took the sea dew decal from there, the Rotax decal from there. I think that was it. There, oh no, there was a decal right here as well. So we got that off. Uh, Tony cleaned the seats really well. We got the cockpit looking awesome. I did ceramic coat all of the um, screens and the mirrors. I removed all the scuffs and all the stuff that didn't look like it needed to be there off of the hull, so the hull looks great. Um, when we do these and they're on this stand, we use a jack and a 2x4 to lift up one side and it rests on the other side so we can get underneath uh, the bunks. So we did coat underneath the bunks. Like I said, the bellies got EMC, so Elite Master Coat Light, which is my three-year coating. Uh, and then the whole top, everything on the top got uh, Elite Master Coat Pro. Look at that gloss. Shoot. I love these uh, lime green skis. You can't see it real well, especially not in the sun, but... It's got gold metallic in it. It's pretty awesome. All right, guys, that's it. Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you, uh, if you have questions about my products, check out DetailJuice.com. Uh, if you want to be a part of something which we consider it to be bigger than detailing, check out uh, my group on Facebook. It's Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Uh, we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to hire us to do some detailing, 813-846-4406. Uh, if you want to find me on Instagram, I'll put it right here, gary.dean.35. And if you got any questions for me, use the cell phone number 813-846-4406. I am the owner of the product line, and that is my cell phone number. So if you need me, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, this has been a Sea Dew Extravaganza for real. One, two, three, four. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.